As you've been learning, there are multiple ways to express the exact same value. This task asks you to understand how you can represent different values and connect them. So the first question had given you five uh, algebraic expressions and then wanted you to match them to their corresponding equivalent value. So to start with, a plus 3, there's not much more you can do with a plus 3 other than switch the order. So a plus 3 is equivalent to 3 plus a. This is the commutative property at hand, which is saying add in any order, your sum is still the same. Then if we looked at a plus a plus a, when we have a repeated addition situation, we can shorten it by using multiplication. So if I have an a being added together three times, that's equivalent to 3a, three times a's value. Then here I have a divided by one third, and the rule with dividing by a fraction is copy dot flip. You multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of taking a and dividing it by one third, I switch the division to a multiplication and flip one third into three over one, which simplifies to three. So a divided by one third means I have a's value three times, okay? And then here, if I have one third of a, equivalent to that is I'm trying to figure out what, if I have a and it got divided into three sections, what one section would be worth. Well, that's the same as a divided by 3. So multiplying by a fraction and dividing by its reciprocal gets you the same value. And lastly, if I have a, it means I have 1a. So generally, we don't leave the 1 in front of the a. We just write it as an a. So that's why these expressions are equivalent to these expressions. Next, you needed to decide if these two expressions were equivalent, and yes, they were. Because when I have this division, x divided by x, they basically cancel out because anything divided by itself turns into 1, and anything times 1 is that same value, so the 1 becomes useless. So these just go away, which leaves you with 3x's being multiplied together, which is equivalent to 3x's being multiplied together. These two expressions are also equivalent because this is the factored form of the simplified form. If I distributed the 2 times the x, I have 2x. 2 times y is 2y, so they are equivalent. And lastly, we never leave values unsimplified if we can do something with them. If I have 4 over 2, 2 evenly divides into 4, which leaves me with 2x, and 3 times a 3y leaves me with 9y. 